What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. In today's Division 2 video we're going to give you a news update of everything that's happened over the weekend and what the developers have said and explained and debunked. Um, so sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now I'm sure you've already seen the title and uh, you're wondering what's going on. Well, the funny news is a lot of people over the PTS have asked me, hey, why haven't you talked about these special exotic gloves? Hey, why haven't you talked about these secret exotics? Hey, man, haven't you seen that someone's cracked the code? It's, it's a secret. And it's funny because um, I didn't cover it for a reason. I, I knew it wasn't a secret. And uh, the developers officially debunked that over Twitter this weekend. So we'll jump over to Twitter. We'll see exactly what the developers said. But just remember, guys, when you see something like secret or hidden or, oh, my gosh, like, let's be real, guys. Come on. Anyways, let's jump over to Twitter, let's get the official word, and let's move on with the video. Hit that like, subscribe, you know the jazz, and let's uh, let's jump over there. Alrighty, so welcome back to Twitter, and if you haven't already, check me out at Kamikaze Von Doom for the latest and greatest news in anything Division Universe related. But alright, so let's scroll down here and let's talk about what's been going on over the weekend. So first and foremost, we all know, er, let me try to, there we go. We all know that the third phase of the PTS is going to start this Friday, April 29th. So expect to have some sort of preload or update to do to that PTS by Thursday. We do not yet have a time exactly of when the servers will open up, but they did say that they'll let us know as the day gets closer. So we already knew about that. Now, over the weekend, we had some chatter from uh, some developers. So let's look at that. And starting off with, uh, yeah, this thing right here. Let's start with this. So this is a tweet by Morton. And if you guys don't know who Morton is, he is a product director over there at Ubisoft Massive for The Division. Um, so let's go back to his tweet. He said, just to think about it, one more PTS and we are on the home stretch of releasing a new season in the Division 2. Mind blown. And then Yannick, of course. And there's more after that. And they're just teasing more and more. And then Massive Entertainment sending a little funny gif. You know, you can see they're, they're all having fun here on Twitter and teasing, you know, what's all to come. But remember that with all of these things coming in the PTS... We are still getting a brand new season with new manhunts, new activities, new gear, weapons, exotics, blah, blah, blah. You already know all this. And it's going to start an entire year of content. There should be at least four new seasons to look forward to, all with different manhunts. And remember that the manhunt targets are going to each have their own individual mission this time around so it's going to be pretty cool to see the changes to that as well but this is pretty cool over the weekend the developers are basically hyping up this uh, third phase and then uh, you know teasing what's to come with this big update because remember once the third phase is over it's only a matter of time before everyone gets that update so that was kind of cool to see over the weekend but then we had this one now this is a friendly reminder to everyone and I wanted to make sure that everyone saw this a community manager is not your dumpster. You are not allowed nor entitled to send hate messages to the community managers. Treat them with respect, be kind, and tell them when they're wrong in a friendly manner if you need help or guidance. Like, it's pretty simple. And the fact that these community managers have to publicly say that means a lot. It means there's a lot of those, you know toxic troll individuals that just want to stir up controversy and drama for no reason and what they're not understanding is for a lot of these community managers it's going to mess with their job and their livelihood now moving up so we had all of that and then yannick dropped this bombshell an hour ago all right now this this is going to be controversial to a lot of those other youtube channels 
um, that we're sitting here saying that these were hidden or secret gloves. Um, so here we go. This is straight from the director himself, Yannick. You can see right here, creative director at Ubisoft for The Division. Now it says, folks, in regards to the Rathbone gloves that were found in the expertise menu on the PTS, this is not a new hidden exotic item. It's an old item that was never made into the game. We have several of them. <laughs> it's funny because these creator <laughs> these creators were pumping it out, man, video after video. What could this be? This is a, such a secret. And a lot of people were forgetting, oh, they they're probably placeholders from something that wasn't actually introduced into the game. Um I found this pretty uh comical. And then it says, we have no plans to bring it back, and it will be removed from the menu. So again, they were just placeholders. Um, the, the director himself had to come out publicly and tell everyone. So no more speculations. I'm sorry, guys. Um, no more trying to push some secret agenda from the developers. Um, they're, they're not doing anything secretive. Um, in fact, all these were, were just placeholders from, you know, old things in the past that they just haven't removed from the PTS. I mean, it's all good. There's still like blind eye stuff and there's still seeker stuff from the first division that's still there. Um, so same thing with this game. So they'll remove it from the actual game, but then whenever you go into like, you know, behind the curtains or behind the scenes and you're like in a PTS or anything like that you might be able to see remnants of them. And that's exactly what happened during this PTS. People saw Rathbone gloves and they were like, oh, this is secret. This is new. And it, it wasn't. It, it's been there from, uh, I mean, the first PTS. Um, but all right. Anyways, I'm glad that this was squashed. And uh, yeah, so there goes that. Now, is there any other news on the old Twitterverse? And I'm going to actually say probably not. I don't think anything else has been released yet. Let me go ahead and click on their official page. See if there's anything new. Because if not, we're just going to jump right back into the game and have a nice little conversation. Um, yeah, that looks like it. So we'll hear some more official news from The Division 2. Probably, I would say around Wednesday or Thursday, where they're going to give us the actual start time of the PTS Phase 3, and then we should be on the ground running. But all right, so let's get out of Twitter and let's go back into the game. And welcome back. All right, so we had that little bit of news over there on Twitter, so let's uh, just talk about some other things generally, and then we will be on our way. Um, usually with Manic Mondays, I'll talk about what's going on with me, what's going on with the community, and what's going on with the devs. We've already talked about the devs and the community at this point. So uh, now it's time to talk about me. While we do this, I'm going to play a little bit of PvP. I, I don't care. Um, anyways, so what's going on new with me? Well, the PTS was postponed a week, so I didn't have to work this past weekend, which was nice. Got to spend time with the family and hang out with the little baby Von Doom. Everything's good with them. Thank you guys all for, you know, asking and all of that. I do appreciate the support. Now, as far as the channel goes, uh, this week, I will be releasing probably three or four build videos during this week in preparation for this uh, PTS. Um, as soon as the PTS goes live on Friday, I'll probably be doing three to four videos every day until that PTS is gone. And I'll probably have some videos lined up afterwards. Um, I will admit that the last PTS Phase 2, I was not prepared for them to shut down those servers. I had all of these videos lined up to record, and I didn't think about them just shutting it down. So whenever I showed up last Tuesday and they shut down the servers, I was kind of upset because I had all of these videos lined up. So what I'm going to do is as soon as Phase 3 pops off, I'm going to go ahead and just record all those videos, and that way I can have them and just slowly pump them out, you know, throughout the uh, next couple weeks because remember after this phase three goes live 
um, and everything is done, they're going to take all of these adjustments, all of these tweaks, they'll add it to the update, and then eventually they'll roll out the update. Okay. Now, let's see. Anything else going on with me? I've been playing a lot of uh, Conflict lately. So if you're on Xbox, yeah, you've probably seen me play some Conflict with the Slayer on my back. You can see, you can see right there, it's still there. I just like having the little snowflakes go by. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really about it. There's nothing... I mean, the PTS is coming. The update's coming. Oh, yeah, Heartland. Um, there were some more playtests with Heartland recently. Um, I can't really talk or confirm or deny anything about it as of right now. All I can say is is that it's it's getting really close to its uh, final stage, and I foresee it coming out relatively soon, whether it be in the next month or two. Um, we'll see. Uh, with it being a free-to-play game, I would think that they would have some sort of advertisement or um, you know trailer to reveal, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, so just expect some. Uh, some news from the division's Twitter page and uh, yeah we'll go from there uh oh is there another enemy where's he at but like we did hear from the community managers from Heartland is that um, they are not going to have their own official page or anything like that all of their news and everything is going to be coming from the division 2's Twitter page so there is that um, but yeah, so I guess standby to standby is what I'm saying when it comes to Heartland. But we are definitely getting a lot of new Division 2 stuff. I can't wait to see the additional changes that they've made between Phase 2 and Phase 3. And, um, see how that goes. I'm really excited to get my hands on this Phase 3. And, uh, yeah, show you guys all of the goodies. But besides that, just let me know in the comment section below what you want to see or hear from the new PTS. Um, it does start on Friday, so I'll get all of my videos and everything ready for then. But besides that, yeah, I hope everyone is having a good time. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe to the channel. You can enjoy the rest of this game. I'm just going to play some more PvP and then be done with it. Hope everyone enjoys their time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ooh, sticky bomb build. Ouch. All right. Now that they hit me with the sticky bomb, I have to actually beat them up now. Damn, I already have 12.7 million damage. Holy crap. But all right. So let's uh, finish off this video with some PvP. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But besides that, enjoy the show. Hit that like. Subscribe. You know the jazz. All right, let's go get that W. Try to get that MVP status. Uh-oh, Double Dog's got the uh, boost. Oh, that's a teammate. Yo, the sticky bombs. The sticky bombs are real. That's twice now he's got me with that sticky bomb. It's all right. I've got something for the sticky bomb. It's called Old Faithful. Alright, so I'll do the old the old flank technique. Or like uh Ross says from friends, gotta pivot, pivot, pivot. Oh, they've already done it. They flanked around to the left. Very smart. Oh, someone just hit him with a sticky bomb. Agent down. Damn, bro, the sticky bombs are real. Oh, he got me as I was rolling. Nice. GG's on that one, Danny boy. Still up by three. Come on, spawn me in. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. An agent needs assistance. Eh, 
had Dre all day. He's picking up my slack. Appreciate it. Getting hit by those sticky bombs have kind of put me off. Uh, put me off course. All right, no sticky bomb right here. That's good. Yo, where was that sticky bomb guy? Christ, man. He almost hit me again. I can't find that sticky bomb guy. Ah. I'm playing all antsy, man. Scared to get hit by another sticky. That's alright. We got this. Oh, there he is again. He just sticky bomb devil dog. It's dirty. Alright, Dre, you gonna get the special or am I? A friendly is claiming the supply drop. You take it. The specialization er supply drop was just picked up by a friendly. No. Oh man. Slacking. You're slacking, commie. It's all right. I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out in the end. Don't worry. That's what she said. Oh. Go. It's like it's like I was holding two bags of sand. What? Are you a virgin? Damn it. Yo, why is there a stinger head right there? Or a uh, striker drone? Shit. Try to shouldn't try to do that. Come on, come on with that flank. Come on with that flank. Got him. Allies are acquiring the boost. Hmm. Allies have acquired the boost. Gotcha. GG's. GG's. Look at that. Ended off strong. Ended out. Ended out. Killing them. Let's go. <laughs> uh, they were struggling there. As soon as I avoided the sticky bomb. Jesus. GG's though. GG's. You guys made me try there in the end. I appreciate it. Oh, and I missed that MVP. GG's. Dre all day. I see you, man. GG's. Ended out eight and five. Fifty million damage. My bad, guys. My bad. Those uh two or three sticky bombs kind of got me out my game there for a second, but ended out strong, so is what it is. Alright, everyone. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.